Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 6 in the SSRF module titled Blind SSRF with Out of Band Detection. Alright, let's get started. This site uses analytics software which fetches the URL specified in the referrer header when a product page is loaded. To solve the lab, use this functionality to cause an HTTP request to the public burp collaborator server. So our vulnerable parameter over here is the refer header when a product page is loaded and the goal of the lab is to use this functionality in order to cause an HTTP request to the public burp collaborator server. So let's paste this right over here. And notice over here, there's a note that says to prevent the Academy platform being used to attack third parties. Our firewall blocks interactions between the labs and arbitrary external systems. To solve the lab, you must use burp collaborators default public server, burp collaborator.net. All right, so you can't use your own C2 server in order to complete the exercise. You do need to use Burp Collaborator, which is only available in the professional edition of Burp. So unfortunately, you can't complete this exercise with only the community edition. All right, while that loads up, we're going to open up Burp Suite Pro. Hit close. Next, start Burp. Go to the proxy tab, intercept is set to on, that's good. Next, we're going to set the foxy proxy extension so that it sends requests to burp and click on view details. All right, let's send that to repeater and play around with it from over there. So turn intercept to off and let's view the request in repeater. All right, so when you're testing for SSRF vulnerabilities, you have to test every parameter that is potentially talking to a backend by invoking a URL. So in the previous labs, we always tested the stock check feature, which was available on the page. But in this scenario, we have a referrer header that is taken as input in some analytics software in order to track what the user is visiting. And so we need to test this for SSRF as well. However, the analytics software is not going to respond with a text once it gets a URL. And so this is not a regular or in-band SSRF injection. It would have to be an out-of-band SSRF injection where your payload does not receive a response. So in order to perform this attack, what we're going to do is click on burp and then burp collaborator client, copy to clipboard. This is our burp collaborator domain and we're going to add it in repeater to conduct our SSRF attack. So let's put it in here. And before we hit send, let's click on Burp Collaborator Client and put it side by side. And let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, hit send. There's no indication that the exploit worked. The only way we'll know if it worked is if we click on poll now to see if the web server made any requests to this domain over here. So let's click it twice and see if it works. So far it hasn't worked. Let's hit send again. Hit poll now. And it's still not working. So maybe we have to add the HTTP. Let's do that. And test it out right now and click poll now and here we go it worked so we were missing the http colon and then slash slash and that's why it wasn't working so notice over here we do get pings from this server that is hosting the application and that means that this is vulnerable to a blind ssrf attack now just because you can prove that it's vulnerable to blind ssrf by showing that it can ping your collaborator server doesn't mean that this vulnerability has any impact. So what we're going to do in the next lab is use this blind SSRF vulnerability in order to exploit the shellshock vulnerability in one of the internal servers on the network. And this way you could actually show how this vulnerability can be used in order to exploit further servers on the system. 
now if we go back to the exercise, we should see a congratulations, you solved the lab message. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting a blind base, SSRF vulnerability using Burp Suite Professional. We usually script our exploits. However, in this scenario, there's nothing to script, and so we don't have a scripting portion for this video. In the next lab, we'll take this a step further and use this vulnerability in order to show impact of line-based SSRF vulnerabilities. If you like the video, hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience. Also, make sure to check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.